The long-awaited Samsung Galaxy S8 has arrived at Appalachian Wireless. Get yours for the introductory price of just $149.99 with a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. For the first time in seven years, the Pikeville Panthers are headed to Lexington for the quarterfinals of the state All-A Baseball Classic. The Panthers were off to a strong start, coming out of the gate at 19-0, being the longest undefeated team in the state of Kentucky. But after hitting a bit of a slump, the Panthers are looking to turn things around this weekend in Lexington as head coach Stephen Prady talks baseball. Anytime you have a shot at a state uh, championship, you want to get to the game, first of all, and then win the game, obviously. But it's still one at a time. You know, that's three games away. So we have Middlesbrough in front of us first, and we'll focus on them. The Kentucky Derby is this weekend. So uh, if you compare it to a horse race, I mean, we was that speed horse that come out of the gate with 19-0. and 0, And then we kind of stumbled a little bit. Uh, took our first loss, which was fine. And you know, that's going to happen in this game. And then bounced back from it and, and beat a pretty good uh, West Carter team. We went from a high to a low, went to, uh, had, a, had a long road trip, went to Russell, lost a doubleheader. Um, but these guys have responded, they respond well. And that's what I like about them. Um, you know, it's hard to go through a season, a 36 game season, and play well every night or be undefeated in particular. You can't do it. You just can't do it in the game of baseball. But if they have the, the heart and the mentality to bounce back, man, and I think they do. Uh, we've got a shot at going down there and and uh, making some noise, I think. For the seniors, this is a moment they have been waiting on for years. And even with their baseball drought here these last couple of weeks, they still believe they can turn things around in hopes of becoming a state champion. It's awesome. You know, it's the first time since 2010, I think so. And uh, it's been our goal for a while to win a region, not, not just this region, but the big region too. And to get it done my senior year, it's special. I just know that whenever I was younger, my brother, he was a senior, and he did it in 2010. It just feels good being, going back, like as, having the memories when he was going, and then now I'm here. So it's kind of like replacing what he did. It feels good. It's just been like a dream, really, since freshman year, just to get here. And now that's finally came true, it's a bit, it's, it feels really good. That's a great opportunity. The last couple of years, we came up short, and it's just great to finally put it together and have a chance to go and stay. It's our first state tournament, so it was pretty cool. Getting to go down there and play in Lexington on that uh, minor league field is just going to be a cool experience, I think. Just really forgetting what happened the past couple games and just having a brand new start and a brand new lookout to how we approach each game. Those games were, you know, like coming off an emotional win against West Carter, and you get up at 8 a.m. the next day, and it's just, you know, kind of difficult to transition after that but you know we'll be excited to play at Whitaker Bank this weekend hopefully win a few games maybe win it all. Oh, I think we definitely have a shot I think we just had a little bit of a slower just like a little midweek kind of bug there and now I think we'll be up and ready to play Saturday I think we'll, we can win it all. The Panthers are set to begin play against Middlesboro tomorrow afternoon at 2.30 from Whitaker Bank Park in Lexington. We will have live radio coverage beginning for you shortly before the game time on 98.1 Hit City USA.